Good morning, everyone. It is about 7.45. The babies are still sleeping. Um, I woke up with some indigestion. I don't think it's from the crawfish. I think it's from the seasoning that they use. It was very salty. Um, my husband got home late last night, so there's still crawfish in the refrigerator. Um, I feel bit bloated this morning but I am on my cycle and it may just be because of the salt from the seasoning that they use for the crawfish um, but I have to go to town today to pay some bills um, and I'm going to go to Walmart to get some vitamins um, the combo I'm taking a combo um, of it's all in one, so it's magnesium, calcium, zinc, and vitamin D3. Um, I ordered this off of Amazon. It was very cheap, um, but it seemed like enough of each item. But whenever I got my blood work back um, the other day, my vitamin D was at 30, um, which is right there within the bracket they wanted at. It's at the very low end of it. Um, but my... Nurse practitioner told me that she used to work in a neurologist's office and she would really prefer that my vitamin D be closer to 45. And I have done some research and I asked some questions in different um, platforms and they are saying that really if your vitamin D is closer to 45 up to like 80, like mental clarity is like really good. And we could all use some mental clarity, right? Um, so I have where like... I kind of feel like I have brain fog a lot. Um, it's a lot better than it used to be whenever I was eating carbs and sugar. Um, I do notice a huge difference in mental clarity um, and just focus. So I would really like to up my vitamin D. Um, I did have a couple days left of those combo pills. However, my husband took three this morning. Um, you take three, three is a serving for a day. Um, and the baby's awake again. Um, he was having some cramping in his side, so I'm gonna go ahead and get him some, um, vitamins as, as well. Motherhood calls. My husband bought a pig the other day, and he thought it was gonna be the same size as the one we bought a while back. However, it was absolutely huge, so a friend of his was wanting to buy one, assuming that it was, like, the same size as we got two months ago but it was not the same size so my husband ended up cutting it in half he paid 140 for the whole pig which is a pretty good price um so this is just some of the um it's the skin with fat and meat left on it so all the meat all the skin that had meat on it whenever after he cut it um in half the meat part went into this bag I'm putting it into my air fryer right now, skin side up. It tastes absolutely amazing. Um, so once I know that this the skin is really, really crispy where I could actually chew it because I made it two days ago and the skin wasn't done enough. So I had put it some back that I had left over into the air fryer and I cooked it for another 20 minutes and it was perfect. So I might have to cook this for like an hour, but I just got some grocery bags, well, some, some food storage bags. Um, I don't want all this at one time. I want to be able to take it out as I want to. Um, this is just lard. So it was the pieces of the skin that didn't have any meat connected to it anymore. Um, I was on my way to church whenever the guy delivered the pig. So I couldn't tell my husband exactly what I wanted. So he basically just cut it into small pieces and literally threw it into my deep freezer. Um, unpackaged and everything just threw half of a pig in there. So, um, we processed mo more of it today. We, um, cut it up into smaller chunks. And now I'm just going to bag it how I want to bag it. So these are just pieces that, um, that has the skin. Yeah, these are like cracklings. Um, and then we have some with no skin on it that we've already separated. Um, some's going to stay as cracklings. Some's going to be just for rendering down lard. So I'm just going to bag it up separately so 
I can do this. I do not cook in any vegetable oil, any plant-based oil. I only cook in um, lard, which is oil rendered from pig fat. So that's really the only healthy um, way to cook it. You can cook it in beef tallow. You can cook it in um, in lard. Some people use avoc avocado oil. Some people use olive oil. I'm a carnivore, so I really try to stay away from um, anything that is vegetable based. It just buys several packs of bacon, um, but once the pack, I have I bought three packs. One is in the freeze, the refrigerator. The other two are in the freezer. Um, so instead of me taking out that that I have in the freezer, I will go ahead and eat this. Um, it's going to last us a very long time, which is why I'm separating it. I don't want to have to um, render all of it at one time or um, fry all of it at one time. I want to be able to go into my freezer and pull out what I need probably for the week. I'm putting it um, in bags just a few at a time. This will probably last me several days, maybe a little over a week, maybe not. Um... So this is just going to replace my, my bacon. There's no reason for us to buy bacon in the store. It is processed with sugar. Um, and so this isn't. Probably won't put any kind of seasoning on this. Maybe a little bit of uh, pink Himalayan sea salt. And it's a really, really a healthy option. You are wanting to um, provide more for yourself and you just don't have the land. Find a local farmer. Um, this man is selling off things that he's growing on his farmstead to people who can't grow it on theirs. My husband does not want me to have uh, pigs here because we're honestly on a very small property and we have a lot of other animals and just don't have room for a pig. Um, would love to raise pigs and um, steers for meat, but I can't. So um, local farmers is a great option. So that's done. That turned into two bags of lard. Eight bags of I wrote bacon on there because that's gonna be like my replacement bacon. It's not really bacon. Um, it's not all pig belly. Um, and then one big bag of cracklings. This bag right here will make a lot of lard. So these two bags are just for once this runs out. I'm gonna touch that. Now it's gone away. I'm trying to let it dry for a minute because this sharpie marker does not work very good it's holding up a little better than this because i just wrote on there but yep that is from this new pig that we got and we still have several bags of meat from the last pig that we got uh, like two months ago so it's working out pretty good we got some pork chops this morning we got some ribs this morning already cut and put in the freezer so this was the last of it that i needed to separate this has been in for about 15 minutes looking pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and get this put back into the freezer 